Hi folks, Luke here. Um, just uh, walking around the Green Thumb site on this sunny Thursday. Um, I am presently out in the um, northwest corner of the site. Um, this over here is the um, Multnomah County Master Gardener Demonstration Garden. Um, this is where um, that group of folks moved to uh, a couple years ago. Um, we've been partnered at Learning Gardens Lab with um, OS uh, OSU, Oregon State Extension, and, <clears throat> and Multnomah County Master Gardeners for basically the entirety of Learning Gardens Lab's um, existence. Um, we have shared a greenhouse with them and um, collaborated on um, lots of projects and um, they're a really dedicated group um, because of the um, nature of the COVID um, pandemic. Um, that population of um, folks who are definitely um, vulnerable um, because of um, age range uh, means that those folks have basically closed up shop for the year, which is um, sad, and some of them are good thoughts um, as well in these times because I know how much that means to them. Additionally, we've got the Green Thumb Community Orchard here. Um, this is um, Community Orchard. It was managed by Portland Tree Fruit Tree Project for a number of years. Um, they went through some organizational restructuring a couple years ago and a dedicated kind of core team of community members have been um, stewarding these trees. We've got a couple of mason beehives here. Believe those are master gardeners though, I'm sure they're, they don't know that they're not supposed to be over helping out with the trees. Um, there are um, over 100 trees in here. Um, pear, apple, quince, fig, um, chestnut, sweet chestnut. This is a sweet chestnut here. Um, there are mason bee houses throughout. Um, Alicia Craft, um, the primary steward, has been doing a lot to um, kind of um, catch up with um, the rows in between the trees as they have um, gotten grassy over the years. So you can see they've got good mulch laid down. Um, Got a wide pathway here. Um, things are both in flower and budding out. We got a pear here that's opened up, a cherry, and then you can see apples are just starting to get to that pink bud stage. Um, this is a shiro plum. Shiro plum is a Japanese plum um, that has um, golden yellow fruit that are um, just so sweet in the summer. Um, and uh, this uh, orchard is a learning orchard, and so um, community members get to come out, um, have been able to come out and uh, practice um, orchard management and fruit tree pruning, and also harvest and distribution. So this produce um, has been going to the uh, Lane Food Pantry at Lane Middle School across the street from us um, for the past couple of years. Um, that's run by Latino Network um, and uh, has also gone to Woodmere um, Elementary as they were experiencing um, budget shortages for their snacks program. Um, so Alicia partnered with the Brentwood Darlington Neighborhood Association Chair Chelsea Powers who has a child who goes to Woodmere to take snacks there so they got some um, some fruit delivered. Um, as you can see, the pollinators are doing their work here on this pear. This is a quince, Cydonia oblonga. Um, it's a, a poem family member, so it's it's there with apples and pears and medlars and crab apples and roses and the like. Um, not a, known in um, in Spanish as membrillo or dulce de membrillo is the um, quince paste that's. Um, popular both in Latin America and, and in Spain, Peninsular Spain, um, as an accompaniment to um, nuts and cheese. This is an almond tree, I think. That's, um, you know, those stone fruits really have trouble here in the Northwest because of our um, humid times. And uh, this here is a walnut with a northern flicker. 
or two um, there um, flying in. And uh, I'm going to be um, reading a selection from Carol Deppie's The Resilient Gardener um, under this tree about us returning into right relationship with um, walnuts and hazels and other um, nut trees that are planted in urban landscapes um, and that um, with a little stewardship we might be able to um, make yields from those um, crops. So um, thanks for watching. Um, more from Learning Gardens Lab and the Green Thumb site soon.